Hi, everypony. I'm Afro Circuit. Plot point. And, and this is. I need Twilight Sparkle. Hush, Twilight. Death. Get, get out of here. It's that one brony show, not the other brony show. It's that one brony show. It's that one brony show, not that brony show. It's that one brony So, this is the actual episode for this week. Unfortunately, as we mentioned in the other video, we suffered from some serious technical difficulties, and also just ended up being for the best because now we do have our better camera. The quality is a little bit different, and so hopefully you guys, it's not as irritating or messy or who knows, maybe it's better, maybe it's not. I, I never can see until the end product, so I have to get working on it to actually see how things turn out. So, hopefully this is better quality. So, um, this is the, like I said, this is the episode for this week. And then also, last weekend, seeing how this is supposed to be the episode for this week, it would be last weekend, is the, when we went to our Brony meetup. It was, it was pretty awesome. We, we hung out at, we hung out at Forest Park. We went to the zoo. It was just a bunch of goofy bronies all together. I wish I had pictures. I, I didn't have a camera on me, and I was also out and about for a lot of it. Because I swear, like every single time, like twice, I had to leave the meetup and go drive to pick someone up or to go drive something. Like, there was one person who needed to do an emergency pickup. Uh, my friend's car broke down. I wasn't there for like the first two hours pretty much because I had to keep going and coming back and going and coming back. It, it was food. It was we brought nice. pizza. We were one of the, like, we were one of one other person that brought pizza. So we were awesome. Five dollar pizza deal. Very nice. So all together, I wish I had pictures. I'll see if I can dig some up when I when I edit this, but I probably might not. But anyway, fun meetup. So let's uh let's see. Do do do. All right. So the next thing to talk about is we've been thinking about it and mulling it over, and we we came up with a few ideas, but. Like, we came up with, for, to appreciate you guys for all the subscribers and all the views, we were trying to come up with something to come up with, like, I mean, like, like uh, plot point, what, it, what were the ideas you came up with? Hmm? What? what were the ideas you came up with? Well, we could always release another PMV for you people. We have one, seriously, check out our channel, I hate to tell you what, I'll leave a link to it. You can check it out later. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out at the end of the video. We could do Mystery Pony Theater for something besides an episode of Ponies. You could choose. Make you could it make us suffer horrible. through Twilight or something. Oh, God. <laughs> or, like, episodes of Bill Nye the Science Guy or some random stuff you found on the internet one night and thought it would be funny to watch us scream and gash over. Or, you know, you could ask us to just dance around like crazy people. I don't know. Leave something in the comments for us to do. Please, comment down below. We always love your comments. Can you, can you cover for me? Cover what? <coughs> In this week's episode, The Cutie Box, we mostly cover the story of Apple Bloom, followed by brief periods where we discover bits and pieces about the Cutie Mark Crusader, the resident triage of three kids who tie together the innocence of youth into the story and explain the whole entire Cutie Mark thing and the sense of discovering yourself i.e. making it sound like a teenage drama in which every character is angsty about finding his one true purpose in life. Huzzah! Thus we find ourselves at the bowling alley, the meeting place of teenage angst and of course rough and hard sports. Today's the day, cutie mark crusaders! I can just feel it! Today's the day Bowling, one of the most 
rough and tumble sports of them all, consisting of a gigantic, solid mass, which you hurl at other solid, less gigantic masses. Yep, that's oh, right. You beat be people had. with your bowling ball. You've got one bowling ball, and it's your weapon of choice. And you run around beating the sh out of the other team until and someone wins. And if you're wins. very good, you can do the Hadouken thing. Hadouken! Hadouk. Bowling. It's a very intense sport. Only beaten by the intensity of women's polo. Very intense. So intense, I've yet to watch a match. Almost as intense as slow speed curling. Almost as intense as golf. Well put, well put. Almost as intense as cricket. So, basically they... Cricket, a sport where nobody knows the rules. Except that one guy. And he doesn't want to tell anybody. <laughs> so, this episode just like, starts out, as he mentioned, and so... Um, there's this interesting little moment where um, Apple Bloom mm. it tries to come up with a a bowling game for them, mm. and, and so mm. are you getting crumbs all over my Twilight? <laughs> Dear God, man. <laughs> It's so one thing if you did what I did, I ate the base in one bite. It's another thing if you try to eat the whole thing in one bite. God, look at... I'm gonna have to get like a comb or something. Well, it's staying with me for now. No one can understand what you're saying, so I'm just gonna take advantage of this. He's saying he sucks. I'm awesome. I am the overlord. <laughs> See, he's agreeing with me. <laughs> See, he just keeps saying, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. He's just completely agreeing with my existence. So, anyway, <laughs> they go bowling and they suck at it. that that was the accurate technique to score a 7-10 split. <laughs> it was very poorly done. I mean, if she had curved it a bit to the left, she might have had it, but no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't agree with you. <laughs> I can't agree with them either. They don't know what they're talking about. How many of you guys bowl? Have any of you guys ever gone bowling without the bumpers? I would never gone bowling without the bumpers, cause I'm awesome, and I realize how effective bumpers are. You just pull the blueberry out only to stick it back in. They have a stem on it. <laughs> okay, so, so basically, um. Like, we, we get Apple Bloom, she, like, literally, like, tries to eat it. Like, she's like, ah, hee. And then, uh, we got Scootaloo who bucks it, and it just goes flying around like a pinball. And then, of course, Sweetie Belle, who, Fuck just, you, sort of, I can't bowl. <laughs> who just sort of nudges it. 
But either way, they all they, they don't do too hot. So after they fail at bowling, Apple Bloom's a little more down in the dumps than usual. That bowling sure was fun. Even if all I got was gutter balls. <laughs> yeah, at least you were able to keep your ball in your lane. I don't think Mr. Kingpin is ever going to let me play again. <laughs> hey, maybe I could get my cutie mark in demolition. <laughs> <laughs> She, she's just sort of kind of sad about the whole not not finding her cutie mark thing because it, it's really starting to get to her because I mean it, it's got to be at least a few weeks that they've been at this trying to get their cutie marks with their various little shenanigans and whatnot and that's like five years in kid years so um basically uh everyone decides to try to cheer her up yeah it all sort of fails she's just sort of yeah Aw, oh, come on, Apple Bloom. I know just what you need to put the bloom back on your apple. A treat from Sugar Cube Corner will cheer you up. No, it won't. A party will cheer you up. No, it won't. A lovely new chapeau will cheer you up. No, it won't. Bloom, it's just a cutie mark. Or lack of a cutie mark. Shh, that's not helping. Apple Bloom, where are you going? So she wanders off into the forest on her own to go die, I would assume. I mean, why else do you wander off into the forest? To fight bears. But Fluttershy called called domain on that. Anyone fight her bears, they the cheek snap their neck. Apple Bloom's willing to take that risk. See these bears? These are my bears. You touch my bears, I kill you. I kill you like a bitch. Yes. Look at my face. My face is amazing. You've got crumbs in your beard and yeah, just go. That's not working. It's still here. So, but um, she as while she's wandering around in the forest, she falls down a cliff and breaks her tooth. Apple Bloom, come back! Well, who is it that we have here? Why, it's Apple Bloom, my dear. Oh! What has happened to you, youth? Ah, you've gone and chipped your tooth. Come with me. I have just the trick that will fix you up quite quick. Well, who else is there to help her? She but she chips her tooth. You can. She. That's that's a type of breaking. And plus, it was like a whole trick. Breaking the pies, it doesn't work anymore. I would have still working. And also, I wonder, I think ponies in this world really do just have one un unilar tooth. Like one just no. giant tooth. Remember, it grows into a giant tooth. Oh, it, it splits in into place. two. Yeah, it's like... Argh. But yeah, so anyway, she she um runs into Zakora, who, of course, lives in the forest and is our... Uh, she's always our... Basically, it, it's good to have her back after, like, I mean, first we had her come, we were excited when she came back in Nightmare Night, but then it's always exciting just whenever she comes. I, I wish oh, that... Oh, non-Twilight Deus Ex Machina. You're so fun. <laughs> yeah, so basically she's the she's the the option that Apple Bloom's been looking for. So, Apple Bloom, um, she makes her a potion that fixes her tooth. So how exactly are we going to fix this, Twilight? We used that last episode. Zakor. Zakor. Like, they, they always fall back to her on anything that's mystical or unknown. So, basically, this is, she's always the cause of anything Hashtag pony weird. problems. <laughs> so, so, um, basically, Zakora's talking about this heart's desire plant 
that apparently grows all over Ponyville, and we've never really seen it. But this is nifty little plant, and apparently if you mix it with the there right stuff... There are plenty of plants that grow all over the place that I don't notice. Shrubs, trees, grass... I think you would notice a heart-shaped plant with heart-shaped little leaf things hanging off of it. You'd be surprised. There's actually a small plant which tastes a lot like lemon and has heart-shaped leaves. up another mix for a rooster and his chicks. Seems the rooster has lost its crow, making mornings very slow. Hey, I've seen that flower blooming in Ponyville. What is it? It is one we call Heart's Desire. A dash will ignite the rooster's fire. With Heart's Desire, his talent comes into view, and he'll give a mighty cock a doo doo, -doo. <laughs> so anyway, um, she finds out with this heart's desire, and so Zakora goes off to go find some amethyst. And also, uh, one thing I want, we, we want to make note of, I swear, he either either she just know she she must be able to see the future or something and come up with her rhymes. Either that, or she sits down and just thinks rhymes that I could say. Or she's to this the song. luckiest zebra in the world. Yeah, because she always has these, like, awkward... And, like, even her awkward slant rhymes are smooth and concise. Like, it's not just, like, she doesn't go, like... No, the worst part uh, comes when she asks Apple Bloom what's happened to her, and then she's she ends with yeah, youth. Youth. Then comes back in and rhymes it with tooth. I mean, what else could she have rhymed it with? Booth. Booth. Mooth. Knuth. Rest of her roof. Ruth. Hoof. Hoof. You Hoof. can slant rhyme it with hoof. Um, yeah, I'm lost. Yeah, there's not a lot of words you could rhyme with it. Basically, we gotta love Zakora's lazy slant Hoof. weird rhyming style. It, it, it's always amazing. So, anywho. She, um, Zakora walks off to go find Amethyst. Which, yet again, a horribly slanted rhyme. It's just this really... Yay. What did she rhyme it with? Like, something... Uh, like, a miss. Yeah, she rhymed amethyst with the word amiss. Uh, I... They don't, uh, yet again, slant rhyme. Slant There's any number rhyme. of plants that end with miss. Katniss, for one, which some of you may know from the popular movie The Hunger Games, but it's actually a plant. So, segue back on track. So, to the moon! So, Apple Bloom co gum comes to school the next day with you her know, cutie back mark. Back to the Future would be really cool if it was done on a segue. <laughs> <laughs> Sidewalks where we're going to go <laughs> This segue needs to be made at hit 8.8 .8 miles per hour. Just Marty flatting it. Oh. That would be the best! Back to the future on a segue. That is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So anyway, the best part is they would change up the train part to a car part. <laughs> so anyway, meanwhile, back at the plot, Apple Bloom comes back to school. What about me? And she has her cutie mark. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. So hungry? Yeah, I can't wait. It's a loop team. It's a circle. She's good at geometry. <laughs> so the she gets the she her cutie mark is this loop de hoop. One thing to make note of here though is also the return of Twist as a speaking character. Get back in your corner in the dead, Pot Bobo. <laughs> Go die. You're a garbage you're 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 a throwaway character at this point. You you can't talk. Just But we named her. We can't kill you now. Oh, She's is... grown too powerful. <laughs> There's no killing me now. 
I've become all powerful. There is one way we can kill you. The only one way. Jaden, Jaden. We'll develop your story until it's dramatic enough to kill you. And then all the viewers will be saddened by your death, thus drawing them deeper into our causeway and buying toys. Dun, dun, dun. You're evil. I know I am. But what are you? So. Um, I am your father. No. Hey there, I just met you. This is crazy. Luke, I'm your father. So join me, maybe. What do I get? Entire half the universe to yourself. Do with as you please. Can I watch porn in it? No, son. Not without this hand. <laughs> 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 I know, I went through the same exact thing. It'll never be ever. It'll never ever be the same. No, that's not true. That's impossible. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're gonna get a robotic hand and it'll feel oh. weird. <laughs> You monster! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna commit suicide. Oh, Good luck. God! How do we get to this? Well, it starts off with a simple attempt at you trying to do what I do, which is derail us enough. But then you try to do it just enough so that we can get back on topic. <laughs> but then I see it as the perfect chance to take us over the tipping point. At which point I body slam what we were trying to so do. So you're like the fat kid that fell asleep while the bus was turning at 70 miles an hour. And, and no, then was on the falling side. And then they were like, everyone lay left. Oh, what? Oh, you... No, I'm more like that wrestler that comes in after that one wrestler sort of beat up that one guy, and then he comes in from behind and sucker punches him. <laughs> Damn you. Wrestling. The most manly of all soap operas. Good thing is we're actually, we're, we're making good progress today. Well, that's because so, I started out in fancy voice. Uh -huh. Everything goes fa better when you do start out in fancy voice. When I start out? Okay. I'll make sure to I'll keep keep track of that. So anyway, she's Look super at good at this loop to you hooping. <laughs> they all go on forever. <laughs> Not true. Look at all the episodes I've started out. This one. You've started out another one before. Yeah, but that was all of me, and then you replaced me. No, really there's another one that you started, too. Like, one where I was like, you know what, why don't you go first this time? Yes, and that was also a great episode. Uh-huh. Sure. Just because you can't see greatness doesn't mean you can't hide in my shadows. Sure I can see greatness. I can see myself. Can you on? When you're blinded by capture? <laughs> oh, God, remember when we did the samurai thing? And I blood. told you to do it my way, but you didn't listen, and so you didn't listen, and you got it in your eye, and it burned. Yeah, it burned. It burned bad. Burn! So, she's really good at loop-de-hooping. It's her special talent at this moment. So, basically, Cheerily says, you know what? Book class, let's do this! All right, my little ponies, time for class! Oh, wow. <laughs> Apple Bloom. Yes, Miss Cheerily? I want you to take your loop de hoop into the yard and give us all a lesson in your amazing loop de hooping! Yeah! Uh, seriously, she has nothing to teach them. I mean, they'll, once they find their super special talent, that's what they're gonna do. There's no need to teach them other stuff. Like, like sure five history is. classes and everything's over. You can just keep teaching teaching math at higher and higher levels. But math is useful in every situation. No. What Name if you one need to make situation a where math isn't applicable. Teleportation. Nope. Math. No. Not math. 
Okay, fine. Force Pinky field. fly plus Pinkie Pie equals teleportation. Math. How about force field? Twilight plus horn equals force field. Math. How about magic? Friendship plus horn equals magic. No, Math. you don't need a horn to make friend to make magic. Friendship plus horn equals magic. Pegasus can fly by some inexplicable amount, and Earth ponies always have this like unnatural tenacity for things. They were created by unicorns with magic. So unicorns, unicorns created horns. everything. Yes. Unicorns created the universe. No. The Horns created the universe. Unicorns just happened to be attached to them at some point in time. So the unicorns were just walking along and their horns did all the work? No. Horns made a race of ponies. And to they attach like, themselves Sweet. to? And then they wanted to experience the friendship they created to power themselves. So they stuck themselves on. And now every once in a blue moon, a random little horn will be born and will hop around until it finds a random pony and t attaches itself onto them. Thus it was written. <laughs> so... <laughs> Still makes no sense. So... But anyway, she drops class. Good. She drops the class and they all learn how to loop-de-hoop. Loop Apple Bloom Family trolls League. trolls Diamond TR a little bit, and then um while she's showing off doing the hoopla. Uh, Meanwhile, in the background, Twist is like, oh, da, da, shade of baby, shade of baby, so you she's twist this like shine. freaky helicopter twist thing. She's shine. flying up, come and then all of a sudden, on, Flash, yeah, a second on, cutie baby. mark appears, and she plummets to the ground. <laughs> Then Diamond Tiara's she like... She said it was only for professionals, which she is obviously not. <laughs> so Diamond Tiara is just like, Ha! It's fake! You can't have two cutie marks. Wh who says that it's not part of her cutie mark? They're... Who says that you can't have two? I mean, seriously, you kids have been taught nothing. How do you know anything? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, I, you, I, kids math. have a net. Like, when kids learn something, they're like, it has to be that. There's no exception. And tell them they're taught what the exceptions are. Kids can be very stone-headed sometimes. Not when I kick them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, That's not true. Bunt! So Anybody any else want to talk to him? <laughs> no, sir. Boot to the head. Little Jimmy, no, I'm going to boot. Anybody else? So You're a monster. So Thank the you, question is whether or not the second cutie mark is fake. So Snips and Snails just throw spinning, throw sticks and plates at her and all of a sudden... Start spitting them on her nose. In her eyes! Oh, God! Those cutie marks are fake! <gasps> what? No, they're not! Miss Cheerly, have you ever heard of a pony with two cutie marks? I must say that I never have. But maybe Apple Bloom has two special talents. Oh, yeah? Then let's see you do that! Spin plate? Yeah! <laughs> <gasps> Two cutie marks? Two talents? So, uh, here, how about I, uh, I'll, I'll let you take a, take a train from here. This is the second half of everything. <laughs> On aboard the crazy train! On aboard! <laughs> yeah. I, as your new Vermin Supreme, will make a perfect pony economy, based entirely on episodes of My Little Pony being used directly into people's brains, which will cause happiness in my utopian society where no one will be sad or be allowed to feel the feeling of sadness, except for designated sad people, in order to make the stark contrast between them and the happy people really, really obvious. I'm going to call it Ponytopia.
and then I'm going to watch Dinotopia and do everything they did to make their society collapse. All part of my plan. My evil, evil, I mean good plan. What? If you're not getting this by now, then you need to go back and look at the study guide. We have a study guide? Didn't you look in your day planner? There's a day planner? Didn't you look online at the website? There's a website? Didn't you look at the URL that I posted on the wall written in my own blood? There's a wall? Yes. It's right next to the Braxton Book Bridge off of I-92. I think we should get out the Segway. Great Scott, Marty! I'll never get over that. <laughs> you're just going to be watching Back to the Future and you're going to replace the car with a Segway every time from now until the end of time. We had a chance to make this episode 30 minutes long, but I think it's long gone at this point. Oh, not really. I could talk really fast. Go! <sighs> ah! So, Bloom goes into the center of town, parading her newfound skills while everybody watches that she does a couple of awesome things. Pretty much, they do everything that a person would do when they thought about what they wanted to do with a hoopla hoop. Hoop hoop when they were hoopla loopla loopity dude. We got a hula hoop and don't you. (laughs) Then she cuts up some pie, which we're not quite sure how it works. Somehow she made it flat, which might have been with the bending and stuff. But anyways, she makes pie. It's really good. You ready for a real show? go home and they're in the house of the Applejack family and there's a painting on the wall which we think may be their parents but we're not sure because you know we've never seen any glimpse of them having them or even caring oh our parents died in that horrible accident eh. okay move along move along okay. nothing to see here okay so Apple Bloom and everybody goes upstairs meanwhile downstairs all the family's like Yay, she's special and happy. And now we don't have to deal with her incessant whining about her not having a cutie mark. Hooray! So they go on about that. Yay. (laughs) So later on in the night, Applejack is woken up by a strange tapping noise. Ha 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 ha. Big Macintosh is clopping. Ha 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 ha. But it turns out to be Apple Bloom tap dancing as she cannot stop. And she screams out the most pathetic. Help me! As though caught in the jaws of some horrible monster, her half of her face has been turned into a giant fly. What in tarnation is that? Apple Bloom, what is all that awful? Fly was a pretty good movie. You guys should totally check out the old one, not the new one. The old one totally holds up. Totally holds up. Dude, it like totally holds up, man. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So anyways. Oh yeah, we should tell them about our stoner snack. Basically, nah. 
We went to the grocery store. And so, anyways, they go we over got, the toilet to we find got out what the hell's and wrong muffins. with you know, with Apple Bloom jerky because and muffins. Twilight knows pretty much everything. And if there's one person they can get information from, it's Twilight, or pretty much anybody in Twilight's library, because Twilight never knows where the book is, even though she's read it probably a couple hundred times. Twilight has the worst book absorption ever. She reads a book and remembers vaguely what it was about. Vaguely where she put it? Vaguely where it is? Vaguely where she put it? No, she's on the other side. (laughs) Which is why she has to rearrange all the books every week, which is probably a contributing factor to why she can't find anything. She does never puts her books back, or if she does, she just shoves them somewhere. All She's she does a terrible is read part of the checklist again and again and again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> Anyways, so they find the wonderfully alliterated book of Majesty and read the wonderfully alliterated title of the disease, which is called the Pony Pox. <laughs> Hey, Fever! The Trots! <gasps> Cutie Pox! Cutie Pox? Cutie Pox. This puzzling pony plague afflicted a population of ponies back in the Paleo Pony period. <laughs> Say that ten times fast! Random cutie marks appeared all over the ponies' bodies, causing them to perform all the talents that came with them. Just like me! Yes, but what's the cure? What's the cure? It says here there's no known cure. No No known cure? cure. The cause of the breakout was never discovered, and the cutie pox disappeared as mysteriously as they arrived. Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. I get what you did there. Because it comes from Scootaloo, and Scootaloo's a chicken. Therefore, it's the chicken pox. What an elaborate joke you've played on us, DX. It plagued a plethora of ponies during the Paleopony period. I believe that's what it was. The little alliterations. Yes, illuminating alliterations of ultimate power. This was just a alliterate. No, but what was the other... I think the last episode we talked about was really alliterating. All of them are. There's just one writer on the staff who's like, Alliterations, my precious. They're yes, fun to say. Yes, yes. They're fun to say every once in a while. Sometimes. They're always awesome to uh, say. I, I can't think of a, a a letter word that starts with the letter A. That always say. alliterate. Always. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was lazy as hell. So you can't use always the same word alliterate. Twice. Always. You gotta alliterate with always. Anyways, <laughs> I see what I did. Death. You're not doing it right. You're not doing it right. You're not doing it right, bitch of a mortal. I'll smack you, bitch. <laughs> Say what one more time. I dare you. So. So, they go about while Apple Bloom continues to get newer and newer or cutie marks faster and faster. And we also get a bit where they talk French, which leaves us with the question, why? Where is and French what? in Ponyville? Or in, in when, Equestria, for that what? matter. Why did you do this to us? Now we're all confused. And, and yet again, also, we have to appreciate the fact that they have some awesome, like, they actually have some awesome sources. Every bit of French is completely accurate and actually says what she's exclaiming. Then again, you could probably piece that together with a remedial course in French. I took three years, so I, I understood it, so. I took two years, and I understood all. You could probably take one year and understand a decent amount of it. But, like, um, even the grammar usage and everything, yet again, flaw- like, they didn't just Google translate it. They actually got it properly translated. Then again, grammar is pretty easy in French because it has a set system of sensical things, at least for the simple stuff. But then you get word like there are certain words that don't like that are exceptions. Well, that's to the because rules and... everybody in Europe was like, "Ho oh, oh, ho! Look at our funny exceptions!" Ah, aren't you impressed, everybody everywhere else? To which they said, "No." 
So anyway, can't we go back to Latin where it made sense and everybody spoke it? <laughs> it's a dead language. That's the reason why it's a dead language. I'm sure it sucks. Latin is the only language where they distinguish fighting with someone and fighting <laughs> with someone. Yeah. <laughs> Like See, thing. I need that. This is me fighting with Twilight. And this is me fighting with Twilight. No, pitiful <laughs> human. My head must be preserved and put on the battlements to encourage the troops. So anyway, she goes through this series of various different cutie marks, including a chimney sweep, an artist, like where she sculpts a model of the Venus, a lion tamer, she plays the accordion, she fences... She, um, she also, uh, oh, she's, she's a tight, tightrope walker, she's a hang glider, and Batman. so, they're, they're like, they're like, she's diseased, and he's like, no, Batman. she's not, and everyone's like, oh, she no, just no, has a mysterious no, disease no, that me. has no known cure. No, 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 me. By the way, I forgot to mention this in our uh, Daddy, previous. Spike. I forgot to mention this in our previous episode, but a uh, trollololololol guy um, had a stroke and suffered irreversible brain damage and is currently in a coma. If you pray, pray for him. I thought we finished praying and we got exactly what we asked for. <laughs> <laughs> I liked him. He had a good voice. I don't care if you have the yeah, voice yeah, of Brian yeah, Blessed. Yeah, 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 if you're yeah, that yeah, annoying, yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah, get smacked down by the, the yeah, 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 Smack! The hand of fate has spoken, Juan. I've answered the prayers of the children in Africa. They can finally rest in peace. So basically, everyone panics and hides <sighs> from Apple Bloom, just runs into their houses and stuff. And so Zakora comes back into town. Of course, comically, she's like, "Oh, oh, we're doing this again, being racist against zebras, huh? Fine then." Zakora, Apple Bloom has cutie pox. We were just on our way to see if you had a cure. But magically, you're here. Was your zebra sense a tingling? My zebra sense did not bring me round. It was a special flower that I needed to found. I thought I'd picked enough to fix all the potions I had to mix, but after my visit from Apple Bloom, some had mysteriously left my room. Apple Bloom, what do you say? Did this flower just walk away? I, um... Shut up, Zakora, and tell us how to defeat the monster. <laughs> It's weak so, point is right how, here. Imagine how awesome it would be to just redub that with like a black voice. It was just like, oh, hell no. I know we ain't doing this sh no more. I thought we had this figured out. You know, uh, 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 you know it's cool. It's cool. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> I don't have to deal with this because I'm white. <laughs> so, anyway. Zakora comes What you back. running away from? This is a perfectly good moment to put our lives on the line. So anyway, Zakora comes back, and then uh, Apple Bloom, she's gotten another cutie mark where she's weightlifting with her tail and squatting, and she's also cleaning, like, Zakora asks her, she's like, so, was it you who stole the heart's desire? And she's like, um, then goes to clean a window. And, and then the these cleaning window looks uh, like an awkward eyebrow raise, suspiciously. Now, I love the fact that the ponies inside put on hazmat suits. Why does Ponyville have hazmat suits? They obviously have diseases. Why not just in state hazmat suits? No, those what are, else do you those spend are like, your money those on? Those are like chemical grade hazmat Like, you don't put on that kind of hazmat suit for disease. There's like these different, they're like these clothier paper ones. Those are like Maybe the full we on don't because we rubber have to pay for them. radiation suits. Yeah. The Ponyville can afford them. The mayor put through legislation that gives everyone the. So, anyways, the, the first thing I would do as mayor of a town is buy suits that would protect people from disease, radiation, and zombies. Zombie proof suits? Yes. Isn't that just anything that's too hard to bite through? Yes. Basically, they'd be space suits. Or ceramic armor, which we have. Yeah, but I needed to have filters. And I want the rubber. To make it all fetishy. 
So anyway, Zakor... People feel safer when they were in gray, yellow rubber. Zakor has the cure! It's like a pair of yellow rubber gloves in the wash. She has the cure! Comfortable. Cure! If they make your skin feel cure. all chalky. Cure! It's these seeds of truth. The cure? I love that band. No! They just suck. Oh, uh, they're okay in a couple of songs. I guess they are okay on a couple of songs. But I don't think that's pretty much music. You just pick out the best songs and then you leave the rest of it to rot. Anyway, the, the seeds of truth! A cutie pox cure I have for sooth. For healing power is in the seeds of truth. W well then, give them to her, quick! These seeds must be planted in the ground. With the truth, they'll grow and the cure is found. Come again? The seeds of truth do hold the cure, but one must speak words. True and pure. <laughs> Why so, are we talking about Link? <laughs> so there's these seeds of truth, and so um like pretty much what she says in all rhymey talk is that somebody has to tell the truth and it'll make it grow. So Applejack's like, alright, let's plant these bitches. Just Knocks him into the air, digs a hole, buries him. That's Ready what she does go. with seeds. It, it, it's trained into her. So I, I just love the. So this is one of the favorite parts where, yet again, it's when the hub started giving us m even more random pinky pie ness. And so Applejack's like, some pony tell the truth. And so. Oh, Why can't it just be, you know, like a simple truth? My it hat is brown. Be or, or could you at least have explained, Zakor, that you're supposed to tell the truth about something you lied about? Because there's a lot of things that are true without having to be a lie first. Ugh. It's so true. I have a twilight on my shoulder. I am on a horse. So, Pinkie Pie, Pinkie Pie gets all nervous and finds she's like, Yesterday I told Miss Cake I only ate, uh, was it three at first? Oh no, I only ate two corn cakes. But I really ate three, and then they're like, nothing happened. Okay, six. I ate six. Nothing happened. Make it stop. Just like me and brownies. Stop, pony! Candy pony! are pretty dang tasty. But if you haven't eaten anything and you just make brownies, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> so, finally, Apple, Apple Bloom goes all tornado-y, and so she finally decides to confess, and then, boom, immediately the tornadoes stop, you and she's... You spin me right, right round, baby, right, right round, round, like a record, baby, round. Anyway, so she um she's yeah, still tapped yeah. anything though, and so she just keeps telling more and more truths and more and more truths about what happened, and so uh, finally the plant sprouts. Now my question is, how did Apple Bloom? Why did Apple Bloom think that eating it was the solution? Like, what if you were supposed to smell it or like rub it or turn it into an ointment? She she would have been screwed. Well, all the natural active chemicals would be in there, but eating it, yeah eating it. But yeah. There's a lot of things you don't get the full properties of if you eat it. Don't need the full properties. Just need to be cured. <laughs> Plus, Zakora apparently has a lot of these seeds. She had like three. True. What happened to the other two flowers? Well, they died in the ground. <laughs> Somebody eventually told the truth and one of them sprouted. They harvested it and then they put it in the shop window. And it now sits there slowly wilting as the season comes by. So, basically, so at the end of this episode, they, they, they learn their lesson that they should just be patient for their cutie marks. They're patient for about a full 20 seconds, and then they're just like, buckets. That's like 20 minutes in kid years. <laughs> I sure am proud of you, sis. Seems like you finally learned the importance of patience. Yep. 
All good things come to those who wait. Well, I've waited long enough. Actually, that was way too long. What? So what are we gonna do today to earn our cutie marks? Well, I was thinking, for a pony who's never mixed up a potion before, you sure stirred up something fierce. Yeah, so what if your talent is potion making? So they d they decide they're like ah let's go and so they run off into the sunset. Classic little ending. They so, should have chained their legs together. So this was a good little episode for Apple Bloom in an already apple heavy season, and so it was just her particular episode. Now one of the things I I, I didn't oh, mention this earlier, juice. but this personally it ticks me off a little bit. We have an Apple Bloom episode. And, like, the sad thing is I didn't realize this until today. There's an Apple Bloom development episode. There's a Sweetie Belle development episode. No, Scootaloo! Why? Why? It's really hard to develop her without her getting past the fact that she wants to, you know, do something and figuring out Scooter. I want I mean, a Scootaloo episode! I mean, they'll basically just chuck her an episode somewhere near the end in which she's like... Oh, Scooter. Wow, really tripped up on figuring that one out. I mean, seriously, that was pretty obvious. Her freaking slow-mo. Wow, Scootaloo, you're pretty good on that scooter. Hint! 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 Either way, I want a Scootaloo episode. If season three does not pay up... I will be royally ticked! You think you're angry? Just imagine the rage inside of me, the one who's been advocating Scootaloo episodes. For what? Since, like, episode 5, season Scootaloo 2? Scootaloo is best cutie mark crusader. Now, now. Everybody knows, in the general terms, Apple Bloom takes the prize. Then Sweetie Belle, because she actually has songs. Unfortunately, then I love Sweetie Belle. Because Scooby is a very, very weak character, unfortunately. I suppose they could put some time into developing her. I think the part that I most rage about is when they had the Hearts and Hooves Day, and they never even mentioned that Miss Cheerly was Scootaloo's sister. Just retconning themselves over and over again. Retconning the retconning the season. The fourth series writers who didn't want Scootaloo to be relating to anybody by the hub. She lives retconning the hub by the. <laughs> I swear she lives writers. in a cardboard box or like a little tent somewhere. If she lives alone anymore, she's gonna become British. Oh no, not like Pip. Hello, chums. What's wrong with your voice, voice Scootaloo? What? Is what? something wrong what? with my voice? I've just been moving around on my scooter. You know, since I don't have a home, <laughs> it's kind of lonely on the streets. Anybody up for fish and chips and a cup of tea? <laughs> I could really go for some biscuits. So, anyway, lack of a scootaloo episode. So, I'm gonna Cakes. go ahead and wrap this up with our usual shows, Plot Points Crazy Theories, which will finally be up. I mean, uh, all of our previous, ep like, the past two episodes have had links that Bubbles have, and don't have links. Bubbles and Squeak Apple Bloom. Um, our Pony Board, which has, oh wait, yet again, I can see where my hands are now. I don't have to guess. So, Mystery Pony, Plot, or no, Plot Boop. Points, Pony Board, and then we actually did something new with uh, Mystery Pony. If you want to, when you check it out, just go to it. It's actually really nice. I um, I decided to change Turned it up a bit. Turned out way better than expected. Turned out way better than expected. Because I actually just sort of threw it together and it ended up working. So it's a little more mystery or mystery science theater -y style now. Like it's not just it's not just a voiceover. It's actually got little things that I did and hopefully at some point I'll get better and I can actually do little animations of the moving and stuff when we talk you'll get an idea of it just go to the link 
And as always, subscribe. We love it when you guys subscribe. It's awesome. Makes us feel good. We're at Strokes 81. My massive oh no, ego. we're at 83 now. So let's try to get that to 100. So that you'll we'll, like in yeah. Either way. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll probably definitely have to do something for 100, but we still do owe them something My for 50. Ego needs to be strong. So again, comment like down below kitten. of if you think that there's anything, a if there's anything you'd like to see us do. Kitten. We also have a live, we have a live stream account, so if you think we should do anything live, we can do that as well. So just seriously, give us ideas, and if not, then we'll run off of one of the ideas that we your have. So, as always, I'm Afro Circuit. Destruction, the ultimate, the Lord of Darkness, Twilight Sparkle. Hmm, you say something? I don't know. I think it was Twilight. She was probably just singing a song. Big Brother, best friend. Ooh, ooh. All big brothers will be systematically killed in my paradise of When she was just a filly, she found it rather silly Why to see how many of the ponies that she could. Eviscoration! She had her books to read, didn't know that she would ever need this other ponies me to, to make her life complete. Yes, the spell shall serve my purposes. Yeah. Hey, that's your cue. Wow. Okay, fine. Don't say your name. I won't. He is plot point. Bye. You say.